Okay, welcome. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make building window textures like this. I'll just put some examples up as usual of what we're gonna be doing. So yeah, so if you've ever tried to do this, you might have tried things like putting a bunch of faces and then doing a select random or using geometry nodes or using particles to randomly place windows around or something like that. And that, like, I, I understand the struggle of trying to get this look in, in 3D because it's, it's a hard thing to just create out of nothing. Okay, so what I'll show you here is a very easy way to create this, um, just using very low poly shapes. And uh, yeah, it's super fast, doesn't add any render time. We can tweak the colors and the look to however we want. This is like by far the best way to make this kind of thing. So let me just show you what this is. Okay, what we do, let me just add in a cube here. So normally, this will, this will be our building here, but normally I would make this the proper scale, but for this tutorial, it doesn't matter. And I'll just put a new texture on it. And in rendered view, I just have no lights in the scene. It's just completely empty in the world settings. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'll just take an image of some building windows and I'll put that onto the emission. And there's a few other things I'm gonna do to make this look good, so, but that, that's basically what it is. But let me just show you this. If you can find one that's just a side of a building, perfectly head on, those are the best to work with. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna drop it right in here and let's run that into the emission color. And right away, uh, this does not look good, so we have to do a few things. So first of all, this is bugging me. I'm just gonna put a new texture onto the roof here so that it's not uh, emitting light. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cube project this. So I'm just gonna hit U and then C through cube project, scale that up to something that looks good. And I'll show you how to deal with the tiling in a second. Don't worry about that yet, just get the scale right. Okay, so one thing that's happening here is the parts, like the side of this building here is actually running, since it's running into the emission, that means everything is emitting light. And I don't want that. I just want the bright parts to be emitting light. And I want the dark parts to not be emitting any light. So how do we do that? The easiest way is just take the color and run it into the emission strength. And now only the bright parts will be left in here. Now, if you want to tweak this, you can use a color ramp and you can just drop it in here and dial in exactly the range that you want, but then we still can't adjust the strength, the overall strength. So what you do is just add a math node, drop that in, and then just change this to multiply. And now we can just tweak the overall strength with this. Okay, what about the color? So the thing I like to do with the color is just take a mix RGB, mix RGB, drop that in, change the blending mode to multiply, just turn the uh, factor up, and then I'll make this brighter so it's not just make the color all the way bright so that it's not making the actual color darker. And then take whatever color you want. I'll just try some blue like this. And that's looking okay, but I don't like how the original like yellows are kind of getting in here. So let's take a, let's take a hue saturation node, drop the saturation before the multiply node. If we do it after, we're just desaturating the color we just added in, which doesn't make sense. So let's do it before. Let's just take this image and just drive it through the roughness like this. Okay, so now we're getting some reflections of the other buildings in here, but let's really dial this in. So let's use a color ramp, drop that in, and just tweak this to be a bit harsher. Okay, maybe let's make this metallic or just make the color darker, that can work too. And now we're starting to get some really nice reflections off of everything else. You can see what that's looking like. To make this look more complex, the easiest way to do it, I think, is just take a building model that you've made before or the kit bash made or whoever, or just make one right now, just add a floor, like model one floor, use an array modifier to just stack like 50 of them on top of each other and then just take something like that. That's pretty much what this is. So I just made one floor, used an array modifier to just add a bunch of floors and then just did a little bit of variation at the top. Okay, so I'll just scale this down to match the scale of our nice building here. And so what you can do is now when you have this low poly thing, you can just drop an actual building model over top of that like this and just kind of jankily intersect it with this. And believe it or not, this actually works really well to create convincing buildings. So I'll just kind of tweak the shape to be a bit more, like a bit closer to the building that I'm working with. So it's a bit more like that. So it's kind of cool sometimes when you have the building, like your building model that's cutting out certain parts of this mesh and then it just makes it look so much more complex and uh, cool. 
Okay, let's duplicate that a few times just so I can see it with a bunch of buildings around it. Okay, so what about the tiling? Because we're just using one image and it's being, you can kind of see it repeating over and over again. That's kind of a problem. It, you'll really see it if I like, make this taller and just take these faces and um, bring this up like this. Now you can really see that text repeating and that's not, not very nice. So the easiest way to deal with that is you just take any of these, um, go to edit mode, add a bunch of loop cuts. You don't even, you don't have to add that many, something like that. And then just select any row of faces like this. If you hold alt on the keyboard, just hold alt while you're in face select mode. So you just press this, uh, then hold alt and then click any edge. It'll select a row of faces. So if you just select a row like this and then just move it along, um, now you can just break up the pattern of this texture and it won't, it won't look like it's just repeating over and over and over again. So you can kind of just take these and move them around on the UV map randomly. And then that's how you get pretty much unlimited variation from this one texture. Okay, so here's an example of a finished scene that I did. I just finished this today. So I'll, I'll put up the final edited thing on the screen so you don't have to look at it through the render preview. This is a really good example of the technique that I just showed you uh, being used in an entire, to create an entire city basically. So if I look around here, I guess the easiest way to show this is if I just take this collection, isolate it, and you can see in a second when it loads, you can see that the whole city is just made out of these cubes that I made, or like very low poly buildings with the same texture that I just showed you put onto it. It's the same thing I just showed you. It's just that I put them around and organized them nicely, put more neon signs over it. And then what I did after that was I put a bunch of kit bash buildings and a bunch of some like some buildings that I made just layered them over top of it. They're all intersecting with each other. It's a big mess on the inside, but it looks cool. So you can see there's just kit bash buildings that are just chucked on top of everything. It's a very weird thing to do if you're not used to it, but it, it actually does work just having a bunch of stuff intersecting with each other. It just gives it a cool look. So um, hopefully it's useful to see that in context with like a bunch of other stuff, if that makes sense. Okay, I hope that was useful. So I think that's everything I wanted to cover. So go out, use this technique. I don't guess, I guess don't go out, go into Blender in your basement, use this technique, go make some cool cityscapes, show me what you make, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.